Hey YouTube, Gear Sue here. Coming at you guys today with a pack opening. Got a 49, I know weird number, packs of Eternity Code. It's pretty bored today, so I ended up going to the store and seeing if they had any uh, Toon Chaos, which they did, but they only had like a, a couple packs, so I didn't wanna, I hadn't seen these, they had a bunch of these there, so. And this pack is like gold, there's so many good cards in it, so figured for the channel I'd splurge and um, you know get some Eternity Code. So yeah, there's 49 packs, if I counted right, which don't. Don't uh, expect me to count good because I suck, but uh, should be about 49. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a long video, and yeah, but uh, basically what I'm trying to pull is uh, I don't have any Starlight Rares, and um, it would be nice to pull like a Starlight Rare. To be honest, I really don't care which Starlight Rare I pull. I would obviously prefer to pull like uh, like a Ghost, whatever the fuck that card's name was, Ghost Chill or some shit like that. So yeah, or just a secret rare of that, because I, I just want that card, period. So, yeah, first pack. Alright. So, first pack, we got... Let's try and get it here. We got Invoked, Augades, no common, I mean, maybe Parallel Exceed. Decent card, so yeah. Next pack. I think I really would prefer not to pull, to be honest, is uh, a gear suit because I already have them. So, yeah, Witchcrafter unveiling another parallel exceed dragon. So we'll put those all to the side. I actually don't have any parallel exceed dragons, so might as well get as many as possible. That card is like. Basically good in any deck that can link summon. So uh, looks like we have a lop lop tier shadow of the generator bosses. So yeah, it's our first ultra rare. Pretty sweet. Been tempted to do build generators, but uh, they're really expensive for like a tier two deck. So. Maybe one day in the future. Comment below. Let me know if you guys want to see that. So we got an area. The water charmer also comes in starlight rare if I'm if I'm remembering correctly. But uh, I wouldn't uh, care if I got that. But uh, like I said, I really want like a cool starlight rare like the ghost girl. So yeah. So we got uh, deep sea aria. Yeah, that's like the one card I did not want to pull. So but. Uh, whatever and I'm not like uh, other people when they open packs they're like every card is like a god card like uh, when I opening there's like certain cards I want certain cards I don't want and I'm not uh, too much of a nice person to admit that I did not want that card I don't play water so you know that's really kind of like a shitty secret for me to pull to be honest but still got plenty of packs to go guys so but and it's also trade bait too I mean trade people. There's plenty of people, I'm sure, who would want that card. I mean, it's not like a bad card. It's a great card, actually. I just don't play water, so. Let's see who we got. Uh, Union Driver. Um, I would actually be excited to pull that if uh, Dragon Buster wasn't at one. So, but, whatever. The Ultras in this set are, uh, the only really Ultra I want is the Fusion Monster. The Dragon made one, just because it's fucking sweet. So, Witchcrafter unveiling. Let's see what we got next. So yeah, 49 packs, it's basically like uh, two boxes, so I should get four secrets and about 10 ultras, but um, they were blister packs, and I didn't open them from the blisters because that fucking took me forever. But uh, yeah, they're blister packs, so maybe we get more, or maybe we get less. Oh, Titano Cider, that's a pretty cool pull. Not the best secret in the set, but uh, I think it's a good card. Plus, it's got Appaloos on it. I mean, come on. In fact, hold on. Let me get a couple of uh, sleeves to throw these in. And uh, you guys will have to excuse me. I'm waiting in the mail for the my next um, my next shipment of sleeves to come in. So I'm gonna have to use these jank ass freaking standard size sleeves to sleeve up these cards, just because I had them laying around and. I don't use them for anything, so I might as well just actually use them for the cards that are worth sleeving up. And I guess I'll sleeve up Union Driver, even though it's not really worth anything, but it's still a pretty sweet card. Let's 
So we got two secrets and two ultras so far. Not the best cards to pull secret or ultra, but uh, whatever. I really like the Titanos Hider. I kind of honestly forgot that that card was in the set because it wasn't really uh, too hyped up of a card because Lost Wind is, in my opinion, still better. But we got Scriptron. Don't know what the hell that card is. I heard it's actually pretty decent for Cyber decks, but I don't play Cybers either. I don't really pay attention to much cards that don't relate to decks that I play, so. Excuse me. Hey, he's back. Actually, hold on. Putting the supers, and obviously, I'm sure you guys know, but there is no, uh, whatchamacallit, rares in this set anymore, which I don't really care about. Rares don't really matter to me. To be honest, I always thought rares should have just been supers anyway, so I mean, it kind of makes the most sense. And they made an entire set of rares being two in chaos. <laughs> Another deep sea aria. Wow, that's absolutely terrible. Not too satisfied about that. That actually fucking sucks. Guess I'll have to play water, guys. Maybe I'll uh, build the fucking million dollar tier two deck. Harv. Pretty cool. Goes with the generator guy, I guess. God, I can't fucking believe I pulled fucking two of the only fucking secret rare I did not want to fucking pull. I swear, if I pull three, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Literally should only be one more, and I'm like, uh, that's two wasted slots. Nemesis Umbrella. The Nemesis monsters are actually pretty cool. If there was possible, I would build a deck around them, just because their artwork is sweet, but I don't know. Too bad Nemesis Umbrella is a level 3, so you can use it and make Toad. Newly limited, fucking totally awesome. So we got Emblem of the Plunder Patrol. Oh yeah, I forgot Plunder Patrol was in this set. Not a fan of Plunder Patrol either. So, but I guess we'll sleeve this up too. Yeah, these cards are just like... Hideous. I mean, look at the artwork on this shit. It's like... I mean, I know it's a child's card game, but... Pretty fucking ugly to me, honestly. Uh, oh, I'll take that. Trap Chicks Alamaris. Now, if we could pull the trap card, that's the secret rare in this. This would be pretty cool, too. Not that this really goes with it, but yeah, it's a pretty cool card. Trap Chicks Alamaris. I think it's how you pronounce it. Pretty cool artwork. I always like the Trap Chicks artwork, so. On um, who is the next? Chamber Dragon Maid. That's, uh, okay. I guess. Basically pulled, like, every secret... <laughs> every secret in Ultra that I, like, did not want to pull, I pulled. So that's kind of depressing. So. Whatever. Maybe there's still a chance to get one more secret and we'll get, like, a fucking access code talker or something. A Dolce Promenade. Good card. Dolce's are a pretty good deck. Very expensive, but very good. Let's see what we got. Oh! We pulled a gear suit, boys. Eh, a lot of these cards back here. I don't know if you can see that, but they're all dented. So. But it does not look like gear suit is dented. Let me just sleeve this beautiful, beautiful card. I mean, I already have three because I pre-ordered them. But this will probably stay in my collection because it's something that I pulled on my own. Wow. That is absolutely beautiful. I know I said that in my deck profile, but I mean, dude, you have to appreciate the artwork on this card. And it's an, it's an amazing card, too. So, wow, that's already... uh. One, two, three, four, five secrets. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Take five secrets, even though three of them I really, uh, <laughs> really did not want. But, uh, that's, that's the, like, you know, that's what happens when you buy a lot of your tickets. So, 
Mm, oh, Ravenous Crocodragon. That's pretty sweet because this is a generic Synchro monster. So, uh, yeah. This is really good in, like, dinos and stuff, too. Pretty sweet. Artwork's pretty cool, too. So, Ravenous Crocodragon. Fucking, uh, Arch... Arch our cheapest. I'm gonna grab out a couple more of these stupid oversized sleeves. All right, so that was like the first stack that I had. We got one, two, three, four, four parallel exceed dragons. That's sweet. That'll come in handy, I'm sure, at some point. All right. So on to the next stack that we got here. Right. Please give me a starlight. If I got a starlight, that would like double the money that I spent on all these packs. If I decide to get rid of it, if it's not something I really want, I'd probably get a plunder patrol ship lice, lice, <laughs> lice, whatever. Uh, it's actually not a bad card, but um, definitely a waste of a secret rare spot in my opinion. So far, that's one, two, three four, five, six secret rares. So that's actually like a lot of secret rares. Hopefully I didn't burn through all the secret rares in the first couple packs. I didn't really uh, have them in any specific order. I kind of shuffled them up when I was opening them. Witchcrafter Patronus, shout out to Harry Potter, I guess. Maybe some reference to that. Now Konami said that they didn't short print cards, but I definitely feel like they still short printed cards. Oh my fucking god, dude. Are you fucking serious? See, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, we're no longer short printing cards and sets. But like, so explain to me how I'm like getting three of the fucking same fucking secret rare. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. I could not be more disappointed. Starlight rare. If I pull a starlight rare, that'll completely switch my mood around. Valiant Shark Lancer. Some shark support. Actually a pretty good card too. All the cards in this set are good. Some are just more preferred over others. Oh baby! Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. That completely switches around my entire opinion of this opening so far. That is absolutely freaking awesome. Absolutely. That's one down. Now, if only I pulled three of this instead of three Deep Sea Aria. Look at that. Beautiful card. Let me just make sure it's in good condition. Absolutely crisp, boys. There you go. That is one of the reasons why I bought these packs, because I wanted this card. And I got it. Now, I didn't want to order it online because I didn't want to freaking wait forever to get it. So, yeah. Look at that. Sweet. And yeah, we're just, I mean, I know I'm kind of being a little baby about pulling three Deep Sea Aria, but we're getting like every, <laughs> every like two or three packs is like a secret rare. So, uh, yeah, keep it coming. Give me more ghost, ghost lit, moonlit, what is it called? Ghost, ghost mourner and moonlit chill. I'll take more of that, please. Don't hesitate to give me three of those. My Dolce. Promenado, whatever, Wonder Bird Scope. So I really hope we didn't get all the secrets. We still got a lot of packs left. Megalith on form. Marin says, great, great bubble reef. Attempted to build Marin says, I guess. They're uh, pretty sweet artwork and everything, but they're not really that good. I don't want to dump the money into the Link 2. Link 2 is like 30 bucks. Rose Girl, not bad. Come on, Starlight Rare. I don't care what it is. Don't care. Red Rain. Not a bad card. Yeah, Parallel Exceed. Gonna have like 17 play sets. I'm not complaining though. That's one of those cards where it's a common, but like it'll always be like a dollar or two until they reprint it. So. Fusion Deployment. This is a uh, good Neo support. Uh, shout out to my buddy Sam. Loves heroes. 
Maybe I'll give this to him as a present. Let's sleeve that bad boy up. I think that, uh, trying to think of the guy's name, I think it's like Dark Blade on there or something like that. The guy who's like a union who fuses with, um, what's it called? That one, Dragon. I don't know. Super old card. Yeah, it's packed. It's like disintegrated. Jeez. Let's see what we got. Malice, Lady of Lament. Not as good as Lilith, but it's a card. All right. Nemesis Flag. Okay. Not much to say about that. I don't even know what the... Is that the one? Oh, wow. That, yeah, that's the one that's... Uh, it's actually the Rota. You can add a Nemesis from me back to your hand. That's the thing we haven't seen, too. But we haven't actually seen... One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four, five. Got five alt... We got more secrets than we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight secrets and less ultras, so... Burning draw. Salmon Great deck profile coming very soon. As soon as I get uh, back together with my buddy, he plays Salmon Great, and uh, his brother keeps telling him to play this card, but you don't want to play this card. I'm going first, obviously. So, shout out to my buddy Kyle. If you're watching this, what up, homie? Next up. Emblem of the fucking gay lords. Pretty gay card. Like, I mean, come on, dude. Look at look at how ugly these fucking things are. They're so ugly, and their cards are dumb too. It's like they don't even like do anything. You think they do, but they don't. They might as well be vanillas, honestly. Next, next, last stack of cards, boys. Please give me a starlight. That's all I want. A light. From the star. Marinsus. sus. I also found it pretty weird that they've made Effect Veiler or Starlight Rare in this. I mean, I don't know. Pretty just weird to me. Armored Bitron. Grave Diggers Trap Hole. That's pretty sweet. That uh, goes with Reflasia. You could use this to stop your opponent from Nibiruing you. Grave Diggers Trap Hole. Your opponent activates a monster effect in their hand or graveyard, or when your opponent's monster effect is activated, banish monster's effect is activated, negate it, and burn them for 2k. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty good card. I think it'll find its place eventually in uh, something other than Salad, too, maybe. Salad plays it, and also Trap Tricks play it, obviously. Pretty good card. Pretty nice pull. And we got another Rose Girl. Looks like we got about uh, 11 packs left, guys. No Starlight. Maybe uh, they're saving it for the end for us. Eye contact. Void Apocalypse, pretty good card for uh, Infernoids. I actually used to play Infernoids back in the day. Pretty good deck if you have the right pilot. That was before Zodiac got banned. I was actually playing Zodiac Infernoid, so. Witchcrafter unveiling. Let's see what we got here. Gasari at Ignister. At Ignisters are, uh, they're all right. Nothing too fancy, just kind of like a cool anime deck, more or less. Artwork's pretty weird on them. 
got scripture. One thing we haven't seen actually is uh, the arrival cyber set Ignister. Weird. That's a super. Pretty easy to do, it should be. Let's see. Another Rose Girl. I feel like we got all of our secret rares out of the way in the first two stacks. Har. Four packs left. Doesn't look like we're getting a Starlight Rare. Invoked Augates. This Valiant Shark Lancer. Area, the Water Charmer Gentle. All right, guys, last pack. Can we end on a Starlight Rare? Obviously not, but all we can dream, right? So, Crimson Resonator, Resonator Command, Buzzsaw Shark, Invoked Algades. So, the entire reason for me buying all these packs was to get hopefully a Starlight Rare and um, Ghost Girl and Moonlit Chill. So I at least got uh, Ghost Girl and Moonlit Chill, which is a plus. So I guess you could say that's a good pull. That's a good pull uh, for secrets at least. And then we got fucking three, three fucking deep sea aria the only card that i did not want to pull and i got three of uh yeah pretty fucking shitty so that's what i was telling you guys before one of my deck profiles i have like really really bad luck so uh life always has a funny way of sh uh, kicking me <laughs> in the face so the only card i don't want to pull is always the card that i pull so and not only did i pull one of it not two of it but three of it so and then i pulled this uh, stupid fucking card right here. Fusion Deployment. I mean, whatever. Ravenous. Uh, Union Driver. Lob Tier. Titano Cider and Grave Diggers Trap Pull. Weren't too bad of pulls, I guess. So, then Chamber Dragon Maid. Alamaris and Plunder Patrol Ship. Lice. 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 Whatever. So yeah, that is the opening, guys. I'm not going to go through all the super rares because no one cares about the super rares. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, give the uh, video a thumbs up and comment below what deck profiles you guys want to see and stuff like that, too, in the future. I got a couple more planned and everything like that. So yeah, thanks, guys. Gearsu out.